Back in 1955, the United States Congress reached the idea of an interstate highway system. Now we need a similar effort to build out a zero carbon interconnected energy system in the United States. We're seeing challenges across the country, whether it be California or Texas, with the need for new infrastructure. And we see a lot of discussion now of the importance of transmission to help connect renewable energy, but help to make sure that our grid is stable and capable to move forward. Right now in Quebec, there is existing hydro resources that they haven't been able to get out of the province. This transmission line will take that extra hydro energy that is really being wasted right now and deliver it into the form of clean electricity into Lewiston, Maine. It's about two nuclear power plants size of energy. If you look at it from a sequestration capability, it would be a similar to a forest just about the size of Vermont pulling carbon out of the atmosphere every year. It's three to 3.6 million metric tons of carbon. What this project does is it brings a new, huge source of baseload hydro energy into the New England transmission grid. Right now we're on track with construction to have the line and the converter station in service by the end of 2023. 72% of this project is on existing transmission line right away, like you see here behind us. The other percentage was carefully cited so that we avoided sensitive conservation areas in Western Maine. My biggest hope for the project is that everybody will see how beneficial this project has been and will be to the state of Maine, both for achieving carbon reduction goals in the state of Maine, but also the jobs and the economic boost this project has brought to the region. We have many states in the United States that are producers of coal, oil, and gas. We have many differences of opinion about the direction, but fortunately, around 70% of Americans in survey after survey say climate change is serious, we must go to renewables. As the U.S. is moving to a zero carbon power system, building out the U.S. grid and also interconnecting with Canada, Mexico, and beyond will become part of the strategy. That's already part of the infrastructure spending that is getting onto the books this year.